Even closer. Even closer? Okay, David Tennant. I guess we're doing whatever you want today. Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you are new here, it's so good to have you here. Today we are watching Ahsoka Season 1, Episode 3, Part 3. I am literally filming this at 9pm Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. Literally, it just dropped. I considered waiting until tomorrow because I usually do not record my things at night, but I cannot wait. I was so impressed by the first two episodes of this series, and it seems like y'all have been enjoying it too. I'm just so excited to see where this goes, and it's also really nice being able to watch something as it's still coming out, which is kind of like rare for me and the way that I structure my channel, I guess you could say. But yeah, in the first two episodes, we establish that Sabine is going to be Ahsoka's Padawan, which is so, so, so exciting. I mean, those two are like some of my favorite Star Wars characters in the whole Star Wars universe. And then we learned that Morgan's ancestors were the Dathomir witches, which I really enjoy. I mean, I love the Dathomir which is in all the episodes in Clone Wars and of course their content in Jedi Fallen Order as well. And yeah, it's just I'm loving where this is going. It seems like Thrawn is calling to them and we have a map. We have a destination of mine where Thrawn and Ezra might be. The question is, and it seems like a lot of y'all are curious about it too, is who Merrick could be. And he seems like he was an old inquisitor but i see some interesting theories out there i'm trying not to read like too much into them so i apologize for that but i'm trying to really just keep my mind open to everything as well i don't know if i have a theory of who it could be and if we know them or not but yeah the fact that they are completely masked definitely leaves a mystery but yeah i mean i'm super excited i've already wasted like three minutes how dare i talking so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it if you aren't already subscribed i'd really appreciate that of course a thumbs up is appreciated too also on my patreon i'm four weeks ahead on all my other contents as well as i have full uncut reactions so if you're interested in that you can check out the link for that in the description below all right let's go oh already what an interesting opening with the music Oh, let's go. We get to see Sabine training. I love a good training arc moment. Not bad. But not good. Oh. It's been a while. Just in the middle. Good. You know what they say. C's get degrees. We gotta figure out a good rhyme for Jedi. How about Zatochi? Oh, no. I'm not certain Lady Ren is ready for that technique. Let's see Zatochi. Let's see what that is. Your skill with a weapon comes from your Mandalorian upbringing. Those skills alone will not be enough to defeat our enemy. She has that, and she did some training with Kanan. That according to Hu Yang, I'm the worst candidate to be a Jedi out of every Jedi he's ever known. <laughs> and sometimes Jedi just don't understand what to say and what to not say. Ooh, this will force her to fight. use her mind. That's how. I want you to see with more than just your eyes. Exactly. Classic. Classic Jedi training. Next to Hu Yang. Are you sure? Whoa. Very funny. You know what? I would want to try this out. I don't know how I would be. Follow my voice. Sense my intention. That's very important too. Not just knowing where they are, but knowing what they will do. <laughs> Come on, Sabine. She'll get used to it. Ooh. She's picking up now, y'all. Well, oh, um, I may have spoken too fast. I think she got too swept up in it. Wow, nice. Very good. I mean, obviously still not the best. But she's trying. Anger and frustration are quick to give power. But they also unbalance you. Mm. And we do have a lot of frustration. 
as Sabine. Part 3, Time to Fly. Okay, so that's the name of our episode. Here's Hera speaking about flying. Chancellor Mothma, Senators. Oh! It's my Mothma! Exciting! And they have all taken an oath of loyalty. Long okay. Long the Empire doesn't sound like the kind of loyalty we're looking for. Yeah, and also, even if they're outliers, they're still powerful. Involving Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Unfortunately. And that you conveniently use a threat of Thrawn's return to acquire Ooh. those resources. That could be put to a more practical... Pr we don't like this guy. We were warned of him before she walked in, but... Senator? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just sat back and waited to see who came out on top. Cool. Hera. I like this live action Hera. I don't know if I could picture animated Hera saying all that. Like she said th some things, but that that was a lot. Opinion that your friend Ezra Bridger heroically died with him. You don't know that. Jenna. Well, you don't. And why would you be so close minded to something that could be a threat? I think they're just fearful. Right? Senators. I think it's like they don't want it to be true. Therefore, to them, it's not true. Unless, of course, they Mom. have very Mom. concrete proof. Is it true Ansemine is going to be a Jedi? Mom. 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 Jeez, he, he's old. Yeah, I know you do, Jason. Jason. I'm gonna vomit. We knew that Hera was pregnant at the end of Rebels, but we never got to see the baby. This is a good show, you guys. I'm not over it. I can't use the Force. Yeah. I don't feel it. Right. We haven't gotten a sense of that from her before. But training and focus are what truly defines someone's success. That's true. You can have talent and do nothing with it. Ahsoka. I'm going to give this my best. We know you will, Sabine. She's very determined. Standards which were proven over a millennia. And failed. You yeah, and failed. Story. Quite literally, Ahsoka's story is the proof of that. I need her to be herself. Now, I suppose you do come from a long line of non-traditional Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the way that she is doing this. It's like... The opposite of Anakin, but also kind of similar to Anakin in a way. It's interesting. Come on, Sabine. I believe in her. Sabine, I've got Hera. Okay. Maybe not now, but later for sure, right? In order to avoid enemy surveillance. He's still doing this? Program <laughs> it. Can we reprogram him? A Star Destroyer? Negative. Whatever it is has a signature which is unknown to Is it the Eye of Scion that they were talking about last episode? Ooh. Yeah, those aren't our friends. Who are you? Tell me. That was a bit aggressive of me, I'm sorry. Ready. Remember, learn to anticipate. Now's not the time for a lesson! Mm. Just a that is important, learning to anticipate. That's a good way to say it. Sabine. Yeah, there we go. Cooperation. Hey, get ready. Ready. Hu Yang said it's not gonna work unless you don't, unless you cooperate. Now. Ooh, nicely done. And that's good teamwork. Oh. Uh. <gasps> wow. I would say it is some sort of hyperspace ring. I'd like to confirm that. It's the Eye of Scion. They're gonna- they're just gonna go in it? Okay, Ahsoka, I mean, that's quite, um, brave. Stay clear. I shall deal with them. Uh-oh. Prepare turbo lasers. She's very calm, which makes me very worried. Morak. For a moment, my wing and wait for my signal. Morak. <laughs> okay. And he had, like, some sort of robotic voice. I didn't realize that's how you pronounce it, so sorry for 
mispronouncing in the beginning. See if you can get a little closer. Are you Even closer. Even closer? Okay. Okay, David Tennant. I guess we're doing whatever you want today. Steady. This is intolerable. You want it closer yeah, to the what? Exactly what Ahsoka said. What? Why does Morgan have to look so smug? Scan complete. <laughs> what? Destroyed. They are not our scope. Whoa. What do you mean, destroyed? Oh my god. Okay, they're okay. Hu Yang, do I want to say he deserved it? No, but he was really cutting it close. Congratulations. You almost got them. Her name is Shin. Work fast. I'm going out there. Out there? Out where? Just keep yeah, out, out where? Just out into space? Is that a thing that you can do? Oh, she's... She's really just going out in space. Apparently it is a thing you can just do. Oh my god. The music though? In her spacesuit? That's pretty cool. Wow. Wow. That's incredible that she's able to fight them off like that. Sabine! Did you fix the ship yet? <laughs> okay. Ahsoka's okay. For now. Oh god. So is it just Shin and Maroc now? No. What? What is it? Yeah, what is it? Yo! No way, it's a pergill! Oh my god, you guys, that's so exciting. And it always makes me think of Ezra. And I'm sure it makes them think of Ezra, too. Maroc was looking at the Pergil and Shin did not care. They showed the shadows of them in Mando season 3, I think it was, as well. But we've never actually seen them in live action like this before. It's very cool. The Pergil are gonna help us out, aren't they? They love us. Where are they? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Wow, we made it away from them. And complete. Oh, took my oh great. My yeah, now he's back. Wow, where are they? I love the forest. <laughs> they missed us, right? Tell me they missed us. Nothing. They must be hiding Nothing. in the forest. Who the heck are you? That you sound like that. Haven't seen those creatures since the day Ezra disappeared. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I know, they always remind me of Ezra too. Punishing speed and distance. We yeah, could a ring like that make a jump to a neighboring galaxy. Uh, Theoretically. Yeah, that is their goal. Which used to follow the migration paths of star whales named Purgil. Yep. Purgil. Like the one. And that makes sense because that's how they disappeared. Jedi have taken refuge in the forest. Hunt them down. So, unfortunately, he can sense us. Oh, man. We gotta wait for a week for what's next? Friends, thank you so much for watching Ahsoka Episode 3 with me. I loved it. I mean, so special in so many ways. We opened the episode with a training arc with Sabine which was really, really cool to see all the classic Jedi training, but also with a twist because it's Ahsoka leading it and she encourages Sabine to be herself. And then we get to see Hera's son 
who is like older than I expected. I wasn't sure how many years have passed since the end of Rebels, but I was not expecting that old of a kid, which is just amazing to see. And then when we were traveling through space and we saw the Pergil and I thought of Ezra and you just know that Sabine and Ahsoka thought of Ezra as well. That was just a really, really special moment and learning about how they're using the Eye of Scion and related to the Pergil. Very interesting and important. Um, and I love the tie ins to Star Wars Rebels. Now, Maroc. We learned that he has like a robo voice, which means he truly could be anyone because that's just an altered voice. And I don't know, we have to like look at clues with him. Like he noticed the Pergil and he looked at them, whereas Shin, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She was just like, whatever, and one track mine. So a little bit of an interesting tidbit for sure. I mean, if we want to figure out who he is, then we kind of need to dissect everything he does. So that could be insignificant or it could be significant. We don't know. But yeah, thank you again so much for watching with me. I'm so excited for next week's episode. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you stay hydrated, stretch your legs, please don't get arrested, and I will see you then. Goodbye.